to this week's Money Metals podcast, helping gold and silver investors during these turbulent times. Now, this week's Market Wrap, with commentary and analysis from Money Metals Exchange, the company named Best Overall Precious Metals Dealer by Investopedia. Welcome to this week's Market Wrap podcast. I'm Mike Leeson. Another volatile week of trading saw precious metals markets rally to new highs for the year on Tuesday before suffering a sharp drawdown on Wednesday and more selling here today. As of this Friday recording, the gold market shows a weekly gain of 0.8% to bring spot prices to $1,993 an ounce. Turning to the white metals, silver is better by 1.2% this week to trade $26.13 an ounce. Platinum is off 3.6% to check in at $1,101. And finally, after spiking to as high as $3,400, palladium currently commands $2,829 per ounce, down 7.1% since last Friday's close. Metals markets are wrestling with the risks of supply disruptions caused by war and sanctions. They are also weighing shifting Fed rate hike expectations and growing inflation pressures. On Thursday, the government released the latest consumer price index report, and it was another doozy. The latest report on inflation was released. It was higher than expected. Increases in gasoline, housing, and food were the largest contributors to that rise. We saw inflation hitting a fresh 40-year high. The consumer price index coming up about eight-tenths of a percent for the month of February. That puts consumer inflation at 7.9 percent year over year. Speaking for the president, Jen Psaki blamed it all on Putin, ignoring the fact that gas and oil prices were rising way before Ukraine was invaded. The president blames Putin and the oil companies. That was Stuart Varney of Fox Business there at the end. The inflation blame game as paid by politicians ignores the root causes of price increases. First, they said inflation was transitory. Then, when the line became untenable, they said inflation was a sign of a recovering economy. Then when polls showed most Americans believe they were losing ground financially, the White House blamed corporate greed. Now they're saying it's all Vladimir Putin's fault. But Putin didn't force Uncle Sam to run up an accumulated debt load of over $30 trillion. Nor was it his idea for the Federal Reserve to hold interest rates near zero and launch trillions of dollars worth of quantitative easing programs. Years of ultra-loose fiscal and monetary policies are now bearing the ugly fruits of a depreciating currency. Mainstream economists repeatedly told us not to worry about inflation because money velocity remained low and technology would continue to derive greater cost efficiencies. Technology has made things like televisions cheaper and better over time, but it hasn't made essentials like food, fuel, housing, and health care more affordable. In fact, these costs are rising faster than average wages. According to the CPI report, gasoline costs are up 38% over the past year. Meat prices are up 13%. New cars cost 12% more on average. And electricity bills are running 9% higher for the typical household. And according to some alternative measures of inflation, price increases are even more severe than what's being reported officially. The American Institute for Economic Research puts together what it calls the Everyday Price Index, Based on its 24 components, everyday prices are up 9.5% from a year ago. The biggest contributors to the higher reading on the index were food and energy. Meanwhile, the ShadowStats Alternative Inflation Index shows a whopping 16% year-over-year jump in consumer prices. That's double the headline CPI number. Even more alarming is that none of these data sets accounts for the spike seen in energy and agricultural futures so far this month. When the March data comes out, the inflation picture could look even worse. Until recently, precious metals markets have lagged behind inflation. The inflation run-up began after the COVID crash of 2020 as Congress and the Fed began flooding the economy with liquidity. In the early stages, there were a lot of disbelievers and a lot of apologists for the Fed's transitory inflation pronouncements. But now everyone, including even politicians and central bankers, recognize that inflation has become a problem. We are now also likely entering the recognition stage of a precious metals bull market. More investors now recognize that they need to protect against purchasing power losses and that stocks, bonds, and cash won't suffice. Bullion dealers, including Money Metals Exchange, are seeing huge buying volumes, including from newcomers to precious metals. 
Still to come may be the panic phase or mania phase of the gold and silver bull market. That's when fears of inflation, of shortages, and of just plain missing out on the bull run can drive parabolic price increases. The last mania in precious metals began in the late 1970s and peaked in January 1980. While gold has since taken out those highs in nominal terms, it likely has much further to run in real terms, especially when measured against paper assets such as stocks. Silver remains depressed in both real and nominal terms compared to its former bull market highs. When it starts getting pressured to the upside in a significant way, it could make gold's percentage gains look modest by comparison. The biggest moves in these assets typically occurred toward the end of their bull markets. That can make knowing whether to sell or to keep hanging on after seeing large gains difficult. Getting out at the exact top will be next to impossible. Prudent investors don't try to pick tops or bottoms. They average into their positions while prices are attractive, and they consider selling parts of their holdings over time as prices meet their objectives or as other asset classes start looking more attractive. Money Metals is happy to buy from customers at any time, but given how severe and growing the inflation threat has become, and given how early gold and silver are in their breakout rallies, investors might be better advised at this time continuing to accumulate physical bullion. To help you do this, I wanted to remind you of a great special Money Metals has been running this month. If you order $200 or more in precious metals, we'll throw in a free gold back. The American-made gold back is the world's first spendable, interchangeable, small denomination physical bullion. Each individual gold back contains actual gold embedded in a beautiful bill-sized form. It's true sound money. Like gold and silver coins, bars, and rounds, holding a portion of your cash in gold backs can offer you a measure of safety and security against inflation and dollar destruction. Holding gold backs is not the most efficient way to get gold price exposure or to accumulate large amounts of bullion. It costs a bit more to split an ounce of gold into a thousand separate units. Instead, the gold back represents a tangible, hold-in-your-hands means of engaging in small transactions with others, making payments that, in and of themselves, represent real value. Money Metals now offers a complete selection of these stunningly beautiful privately issued bullion items in a full range of denominations. The math is simple. 1,000 goldbacks, no matter what combination of goldback sizes you are using or what state of issue, contain exactly one ounce of 0.9999 gold. You can always buy more, but you're guaranteed to get one gold back for free during the month of March for any order you place with Money Metals totaling $200 or more. Well, that will do for this week. Be sure to check back next Friday for our next weekly Market Wrap podcast. Until then, this has been Mike Leeson with Money Metals Exchange. Thanks for listening, and have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you for joining us for this week's Money Metals podcast. Be sure to come back next week, and don't forget to subscribe to our podcast through iTunes. For answers to all of your questions, or to discreetly and securely buy or sell gold or silver coins, bars, and rounds, call 1-800-800-1865 or visit www.moneymetals.com. Our knowledgeable and no-pressure specialists are standing by to answer your call during business hours, Monday through Saturday. Or you can lock in your order online, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, visit us at www.moneymetals.com or call 1-800-800-1865.